Welcome back to Judo Breakdowns, your source for judo commentary on the internet. And what I have for you today is a match from the Grand Slam in Antalya 2022 um, in the men's under 60 division. In white, we have Ali Burzkut, uh, Boz Kurt from Turkey. And in blue, we have Jom, uh, Jome, or Jom, I'm going to say Jom, uh, Bernabo from Spain. So let's get going. Uh, hopefully, this cameraman is not this overzealous one. But it looks like it, unfortunately. So, okay, they're just bowing onto the mat now. All right. And uh, let's join him in action. So, Ali is in white and Jom is in blue. And, uh, yeah. Let's see. Just getting grips. Really, you're not seeing too much uh, switching of grip from uh, Joel, uh, more from Ali. Okay, over the back now from both. Uh, or, okay, resetting everything. Drop left from uh, Joel, but not a fully committed one. Maybe about 75% committed. Uh, you can see that the Spanish uh, coach is calling for a penalty already on Ali to touch early for that but yeah I think like in this next exchange if uh, you know yeah exactly if Jome starts to attack and then you don't see anything from Ali then he might get uh, penalized but in there was a, I don't think that that time's really gonna count right so he might have a bit of a reprieve next one though so if I were Jome I might like just attack with whatever junk just to get him in further penalty trouble. Or does at least. Oh, very nice. That was a nice uh, Ouchi, Gary. A left Ouchi. It's a Wazari. Was, I think he, he landed on his bum and then like rolled back. So, but you know, if he landed on his back, whew, that would have been an easy one. What's with the zooming? Who is zooming like this? That's absurd. Get out of here with the zooming. <laughs> okay, the white player is not... Like, they're both equally important in this, right? So I don't see why they're, they would zoom on one player or the other. I think this, is, this particular cameraman had some sort of thing. You know what? I'd rather just a fixed camera <laughs> that doesn't move. You don't need people operating this thing. <laughs> Just give me the, the scoreboard in view and uh, the entire mat area. That That's good enough. I can see the ref. I can see everything then. All right. And uh, assuming yes, attempt from uh, Joel. Not, no real, uh, not a real threat there. But, oh, okay. Is he going to be able to get the rollover? He is. And that that's going to be the Osakomi. Yes. Oh. Oh my goodness. And uh, Ali is done. Very good. Very, very good. And of course, it's a much shorter time period because of the uh, Wazari from before. Congratulations to Jom. Uh, obviously, Ali is very disappointed to have lost. You know, this is in his own country. But uh, you know what? Like, that's a tough one, right? Uh, what I might suggest in terms of uh, escape. So. Uh, is probably to try to wrench this arm this right arm through the crook of his elbow here uh, to either pull yourself down this way or at least wrench it up so that way you can roll out of roll out of this gap here the, the bridging into nothing like what are you gonna bridge in out of right like he's got the arm on top of you he's got his chest on you right so that's not a vulnerable like angle to t to try to escape you're gonna have to try to either if you can bridge him over this shoulder this right shoulder it's difficult to do but could be done um or find your way out this way right if he hasn't connected his hands which you might be able to feel from the bottom uh wrench that arm off and get out of there if not probably 
grab over the back to the belt and just bridge like crazy and try to pull him up over this way. That's what I would think you could do. Uh, but those are my thoughts. If you have any of your own, leave a comment. If uh, you enjoyed this video, hit like, subscribe. And until next patch, have a great night.